Well, welcome back to our Egypt adventure with Scenic. Now, after a couple of days in Egypt's bustling capital of Cairo, we have moved on to Luxor, a place often touted as the world's greatest open-air museum, with the glorious Nile River running right through its heart. And as a base to explore this area's treasures, Scenic will have you at the very best address in the city. Not only is the Winter Palace beautiful and historic, this is the Hotel of Legends. Everyone from Empress Eugenie of France to Agatha Christie to the British archaeologist Howard Carter have based themselves here when in Luxor. And it was from this royal staircase, no doubt standing somewhere around about here, that Howard announced to the world that he and his workmen had discovered the step that led down to the tomb of King Tutankhamun. Across the road is the Mummification Museum. So, you know that the Egyptians believed that the afterlife was better than anything you could possibly experience here on this earth. They wanted to be completely prepared, look their best, have everything from sacred animals to fine food to take them to that paradise. What amazes me though is when you look at the instruments, when you look at the detail involved, this happened three to 5,000 years ago. What kind of a society was that? Extraordinary. Over many centuries, the ancient Egyptians got the mummification process down to a fine art. So that body has been stuffed and layered and wrapped. Exactly, it's ready now, so stuffed, ready, and then they wrap the body in linen bandages, like all over the body. Then they put the death mask on the face. And the death mask, that's for the spirit to, to, to recognize its own body. Well, it's at sunset that Luxor really shines, and I mean that literally, with felucas gliding down the Nile and the grand sight of the Luxor temple lit up as the city's icon. Roaming this peaceful city at night, I have to say I, I do feel incredibly safe and you will have a chance to interact with locals at the city's main souk. There is no hassling here. They are as polite as they are charming. Love the characters here. The scarf Thank you. is beautiful. You beautiful, not the scarf. Shukra, shukra. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In a country of ancient riches, Egypt's West Bank of Luxor is arguably the biggest treasure chest of them all. For the early Egyptians, the sun setting in the West signified the end of the day and the end of life. So the tombs and mausoleums were built on the west side of the Nile. Now, one of the most impressive is the mortuary temple of Ramses III, locally known by its Arabic name, Medinet Habu. I actually feel quite, I feel quite emotional and overwhelmed. It's so huge to see the paint on the walls, to see these incredible inscriptions. Ironically, one of Egypt's most impressive sites is found underground. For more than 500 years, this valley served as the resting place for the rulers of ancient Egypt, now aptly named the Valley of the Kings. So how many tombs are there? 63? No, 64. 64? They keep finding every now and then there's like new tomb and more excavations. This is Roms III, the last great pharaoh. And, uh, well, although most of the riches and the treasures have long since been removed and raided, the images and hieroglyphics remain, thank heavens for that. Incredibly, they are still vivid and detailed all these centuries later. 